So I just wanted to make a really quick NHL video talking about the Winnipeg Jets and how they actually made a big announcement today saying that Blake Wheeler is no longer going to be their captain and they are going to be doing a bit of a leadership group restructuring for this 2022-2023 season. So uh, here on the screen right now is the exact press release or the tweet uh, that came from the Winnipeg Jets PR team on Twitter. Uh, so it says Jets announced leadership group restructuring. The Winnipeg Jets announced today a restructuring of the team's leadership group ahead of the 2022-2023 season. Quote, is it is the the termination of the coaching staff that we will enter the 2022-2023 season without a specific captain, but rather a group of assistants to still be determined, said Jets head coach Rick Bonus. Quote, it is our goal to expand the leadership base within our hockey team. We have high expectations for our core players and want to provide them with the opportunity to step into those greater leadership roles as of now. Jets coach uh, Rick Bonus and forward Blake Wheeler will be available to the media at 12 p.m. at Bell MTS Iceplex. Now, this news shouldn't exactly be surprising, in my opinion. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets had a bit of a down season last year uh, with Paul Maurice resigning, saying that the team needed a new direction. There's a lot of questions and speculation about the Winnipeg Jets and what might exactly be going on behind the scenes, uh, maybe within the locker room. Is there leadership problems? Is there uh, team morale problems? Whatever the case may be. Uh, they obviously hired Rick Bonus from Dallas to be their new head coach this year. And one of the first moves that he's done prior to the season even starting uh, is shaking up the leadership core and no longer having Blake Wheeler as a captain. Now, a couple things that come to mind is a few years ago, the San Jose Sharks sort of did this, uh, getting rid of Joe Thornton or, and Patrick Marlowe as uh, you know, main leadership parts and moving those players out ultimately. And where is that kind of taking the San Jose Sharks today? I can see this being a very similar path to the Winnipeg Jets. This could just be the start of a bit of a downfall for the Jets. And if they don't go out and make a change sooner rather than later, uh, they could have a pretty ugly next couple of years ahead of them, possibly. Uh, I think it's just one of those situations where this Winnipeg Jets core has been together for quite some time now. A few years ago, they were one of the top teams in the league, uh, went on some pretty long play playoff runs it didn't result in any championships but uh they definitely had uh you know some good playoff runs and some success as a franchise now in 2022 2023 they've had more or less the same core for quite some time now and this is this might just be one of those things where this core's played it out they've run out of runway they need to go out and make an changement personnel wise and maybe this is the start maybe there's gonna be more moves to follow who really knows uh but i definitely think it's something to keep an eye on moving forward now, do I think personally that a new leadership group is going to change anything? Probably not. I think the Jets are going to have to go out and probably make some changes uh, with their current core, maybe trading some players out uh, that have been part of the group for quite some time now and having a bit of a, a new look in that locker room and not just moving letters around. That's what I personally think. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. Uh, so leave your thoughts down below. I just wanted to give you guys an update and provide my thoughts on the Winnipeg Jets and their leadership group restructuring uh, and what I kind of think about it. So leave your thoughts down below. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.